Hey crew, it's Patrick again. Okay, well I only had three questions on my AMA. And, uh, hi guys. Hi girls. Girls. <laughs> the dogs. The dogs say hi. Uh, so I only had three questions on the AMA. So this is question number three. Uh, I kind of saved this one for last. Uh, Carissa Teixeira, I hope I said that right, Carissa, if I didn't, please let me know. But, uh, she asked me what got me into Star Trek and into Star Trek gaming. <laughs> well, the Star Trek part's easy. My dad did that. That was my dad. Uh, I am... Depending on when you, uh, what dates you look at, I am, uh, well, I'm older than broadcast Star Trek. If you count the, the, the shooting of the pilots and stuff, I am not older than high, high trifle. <laughs> Hop down, girl. Hop down. Get down. I am, uh, I'm older than broadcast Star Trek. I was born about Five months before the Man Trap came out. So, I mean, it's always been there. Uh, but Dad loved the show. He had a model of the Enterprise hanging in his study. And uh, I just grew up with it. Always. Uh, I mean, I was a fan from, from the get... Ginger, you gotta stop, girl. I'm talking to people. <laughs> anyway, I, I was a fan of the show all my life. I became a Trekkie in 1976. I was 10 years old, and it was my birthday, and Dad, once again, it was, it, it was all Dad, got me the Franz Joseph technical manual and the blueprints for my birthday because he was not going to be able to make it. Uh, he and my mom had split up by that point and the Air Force was making it where he couldn't he was not able to get away at the time I think as the Air Force he was not going to be able to make it uh, but he did not want me to think he had forgotten so he sent me Two of the most formative things in my young life, and I was uh, I was pretty much scarred from that point forward. Uh, but that's how I got into Star Trek, and it never really left. I mean, uh, yeah, I uh, there's there's not a time that I can think of when I haven't. Uh, Haven't been into Star Trek. I got into Star Trek gaming somewhat later. Uh, let's see. In 1980, I bumped into a guy named David Chamberlain. Dave, if you're watching, how's it going, man? Hope life is treating you well. Um, he introduced me not to... Uh, Star Trek gaming per se. He introduced me to gaming. He introduced me to role playing. Uh, sorry. Uh, with Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Got Dave to thank for that. And. Uh, he also introduced me to to some Star Trek gaming. Uh, Starfleet Battles was a thing at the time in 1980. Played some of that. But I was 17 when I found the FASA Star Trek role-playing game. Easy girl. 
I'm talking to people. Yes, they love you too. Say hi, Trifle. Can you say hi? Or not? <laughs> uh, and I discovered that on my own. Uh... That was, I got that. I want to say I got that at Walden Books at Baybrook Mall in League City, Texas, where I was living, or Webster. It was hard to tell where one end of the other began. No, Baybrook was at Webster. I went to high school in League City. Everything is a tangled mess of suburbs down there. It's hard to keep track sometimes, and it's been a long time. I have slept since then. Uh. But that also changed uh, the course of my gaming life. I got into a long campaign while I was in the Air Force. Um, a couple of long campaigns. I got into one while I was stationed in England. I got one, a different one, uh, while I was stationed in Nebraska. Uh, I didn't really have a chance to get one while I was stationed in Mississippi, but because <sighs> I wasn't there very long. You two knock it off. But that's how I got into Star Trek gaming, and as I explained earlier in, in one of my other videos about my history there, I was just a player until 2016 when they decided to take a chance on me and let me write for them for a while at Modiphius. So I've been doing that ever since. But uh, that's how I got into Star Trek. That's, you know, I've been there ever since. So, uh, let's see. <laughs> God, 47 years I've been a trekking. 57, uh, it's not exactly since I grew up with it. I don't remember when it wasn't around, but I mean, I really got serious along about the time I turned 10. Much to my mother's chagrin, because she's the one who had to sew the braid on old shirts for me to make me, make me uh, uniforms. So that's how, that's how that happened. I hope that uh, tells you what you need to know, Carissa. If that's, if it doesn't, leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, I will be giving back to actual uh, other content here, hopefully sooner rather than later. In the meantime, I'm gonna sign off because uh, it's my night to cook dinner, and I will talk to you guys later. Live long and prosper. Have a good night. Take care of yourselves.